Disconcerting, isn't it? This is What If, and here's what life would be like if we didn't have music. It's hard to imagine life without music. I'm not just talking about the death of Spotify or the iPod. I'm talking about the complete absence of melody. No more ringtones, alarms or alerts. No bird calls or cat calls. No whistling or humming. And a lot more awkward elevator rides. But music is more than just a soundtrack to our lives. It's the basis of how we understand one another. Baby talk, the way a parent speaks to their child, is one of the earliest examples of humans manipulating sounds and intonations to help communicate. Speaking this way helps a child develop language skills. And researchers also believe that baby talk was the precursor to vocal music. So it's no surprise that for thousands of years, the melodic sounds of man and beast have been vital to mating, community building, and mental well-being. As Friedrich Nietzsche put it, without music, life would be a mistake. Would you be willing to survive in silence? The fact that the world's streaming music services are worth about $10 billion annually and that an estimated 152 million live concert tickets are sold every year should tell you how much we love our music. The average American listens to roughly 32 hours of music per week. It seems we humans can't live without it. But what if we were forced to? How would we cope with the sudden loss of an industry worth $130 billion and a medium that's intrinsically tied to health and happiness? Well, economically speaking, we'd be okay. Instead of buying concert tickets, people would pay to attend lectures and listen to their favorite stand-up comedians. Podcast subscriptions would skyrocket, and we might actually become more informed and insightful since news and talk radio would rule the airwaves. Unfortunately, movies, television, and theater would lose a lot of their drama. Unless you really like impassioned monologues. But if you'd rather do the talking, then get yourself a therapist. Not only because it's good for you, but because going without music would practically make therapy a necessity. Music has been proven to release endorphins in the brain, helping to ease stress and increase feelings of happiness and excitement. Music also has physical benefits, such as its ability to ease bodily pain and to help stabilize your immune system. For example, a team of researchers in Finland found that stroke victims who listened to two hours of music every day recovered faster than those who didn't. The one thing that might improve with music's absence is road safety. A study in 2013 showed that when listening to music while driving, drivers made more mistakes and were more aggressive behind the wheel. A similar experiment revealed that students who listened to music while studying also became distracted, which resulted in lower test scores than their peers who weren't listening to anything. But while music distracts some people, it also helps other people remember things. When treating for memory loss, doctors have found that patients can recall specific song lyrics and melodies even if they've forgotten other basics, like an address or their own birth date. Music might also help you get more sleep. If you're among the 40 million Americans who have chronic sleep disorders, then play something soothing. It's helped others before. So, instead of demanding more peace and quiet, maybe you should change your tune. Not only would a life without music be incredibly bleak and boring, it would also affect your well-being, inhibit your creativity, and make you less motivated. Whatever your genre, play it loudly and proudly. When someone asks you to turn down the volume, show them this video. And for more sound ideas, just keep watching What If.